Hello everyone, I'm in my office today. Um, I am sure all of you have heard the reports on the main news, main media about, oh, there is a study done that intermittent fasting could put you at risk for heart disease or heart attack. And you also are aware probably that Oprah did her primetime special show on all the weight loss injection drugs and how, you know, being overweight isn't your fault. You can't help it. It's a brain disorder. And these injections are really helpful. She even interviewed a mom and a daughter who was obese and and did surgeries and the injections and it just really helped her so anyways this stuff has been really bothering me because this is what they're promoting and so oprah does it i'm gonna do it oh intermittent fasting isn't good for you now but do you know all the facts right so i just want to tell you some things that i'm thinking and and some information that i want you to think about um, first of all, the study on the intermittent fasting being harmful was put out there by the American Heart Association, who have their own agenda. They promote, you know, seed oils, saturated fats are bad for you, and, you know, you should eat low fat. Not a good idea. I think even the CEO had a heart attack a few years ago. And the study was done a long time ago, like a five-year period in the earlier 2000s. It was not peer-reviewed. It wasn't published. And it was just some people kind of jotting down what they were eating and, and trying to remember everything over this uh, few-year period. So it wasn't even a real significant study that even got published. But yet the media uh, let you know about it right after the Oprah special, right? And do you ever wonder why they don't put someone on prime time like Dr. Hyman, who would actually talk about real health? You never see them on there, do you? And why they let Oprah do a special on injections. Now, also, I will put links in the description. I know in Australia, 60 Minutes has been reporting on deaths that have occurred from Ozempic. There's also Wygovi, Semaglutide. Now they have something called Roe. All these companies are coming out with these same types of injections. So you won't feel hungry. And then you inject yourself once a week and you lose weight. Not a good way to lose weight. It's very detrimental to your health. It also causes you to not be able to digest your food. It causes stomach paralysis. So the food just sits there and that can cause some major complications and people get very sick from this. I've also treated people in my office trying to recover from doing these injections. But I do find it interesting that we're not reporting on real health and, and that we're not making that news or doing prime time specials on that. We're actually reporting on things that aren't even really published studies. They're not even legitimate. We're letting Oprah go on TV to uh, get the masses to follow her. Oh, well, she does it, so I'm going to do it, so it must be okay. How much do you think she's getting paid for that? Mm -hmm. And she probably really does it too. But what about being responsible with your health? What about we talk about that? Now, I'll also post some links um, here in America. They're not going to report on the deaths. But I did find some articles where people had died. They said from fake Ozempic, where I guess they didn't get the real thing or they were in the ER from it. But you're never going to hear that on news, primetime news or 60 minutes like in Australia. It's a real thing. It's very harmful. It's not the way to go. But a lot of the things you hear on primetime or the media take with a grain of salt because they're not always giving you all the facts and they're leaving things out that are really important or they're not promoting real health. So this is a problem we have. Just really pay attention to all that. Do your research and know that everything you hear is not always true. All right, you guys, work on your health. Uh, don't ever let that go. Do it the right way and don't fall for these gimmicks and scams that are going to harm you, even if it's Oprah Winfrey. Okay, everyone have a great day.